If you want to transfer data from your old phone to Poco F7, here's what you need to do. So first of all, what you're going to do is open the app drawer and we can use the share me app that is pre-installed on this phone. Of course, we can use pretty much any other third party app that allows us to transfer files. An example app is uh, sent anywhere, uh, which I have been using on different phones and it works just fine. And it allows us to transfer pretty much everything from one phone to another. However, in this case, we're going to use this share me. So if we go over here, we need to grant some permissions. So let's just grant everything so that, of course, this app has access to our files. And we're going to choose while using the app. We don't have to grant permissions to location, but we need to grant pretty much everything else. All right. So in this case, if we want to receive files from our old phone on Paco F7, then of course, over here, we need to select receive and we need to actually enable location services. So we're going to allow, let's use it while using the app and let's proceed. Now over here, uh, we need to uh, make our phone visible to other Bluetooth devices for uh, 10 minutes. So we're going to allow we have this QR code that we can scan. Uh, so if you have the QR code scanner, uh, we're going to use it on this phone, on this old one. However, in order to actually scan this QR code, we need to go to the Play Store and we need to download the same app on our old device. So or the App Store, of course. So we're going to go to search over here and we're going to write share me. This is, of course, the name of the app. It's made by Xiaomi. And let's install it. All right, so let's open it. And over here, of course, we need to grant the permissions. There we go. So uh, we just have to set it up just like we did, just like we did on the uh, Paco F7, of course. All right, so here we want to, of course, send. So uh, in this case, we need to select everything that we want to transfer. So we have videos. Uh, contacts and files and so on and so forth, even apps. So in my case, I'm just going to transfer photos. So I can tap on these circles that we have in the bottom right corner and let's press send. Now over here, in this case, I'm missing some additional options. So let's go to settings and let's allow this option and let's press next. All right. And now we need to scan the QR code. So let's do this. There we go. Now our both devices should try to establish the connection. Okay, so I actually had to change the phone because my old device is actually not capable of um, of connecting with the new one simply because it's perhaps just too old and not compatible with uh, modern smartphones, unfortunately. Uh, but in this case, as you can see, we have managed to uh, to find the connection. So after that, we can just press connect and then we should be able to transfer files. As an alternative, we can also use some other third-party apps that also allow us to transfer files, like I mentioned, uh, for example, the Send Anywhere. So in order to use it, we need to also go to the Play Store and we need to download it on both devices because it is not something that we have on our phones by default. So you can search for Send Anywhere on both devices. And with this app, there should not be any major issues with transferring files. Unlike some, uh, unlike with, for example, the share me option. So if share me doesn't work for you, you can try third party apps. So once we open it, of course, we need to grant permission. So I'm going to show you how to do that over here. If you transfer from, um, iPhone, for example, to Poco F7, then you might not be able to transfer everything. For example, apps are not compatible, um, because they are built in a different way for iPhones, um, compared to Android devices. Over here, we need to press continue. We need to grant permissions, of course. There we go. Over here, pre check not now and then OK. We can close this information. And now on our old phone, we can once again select whatever we want to transfer. So once again, I'm going to choose my photos. Then over here at the bottom, press send. On our Poco F7, F7 we can uh, select receive. And then over here in input key, we can write this code over here or you can use this QR code icon in order to scan the QR code. So I'm just going to enter the six digit code that I see on my old phone. And now we should be able to try to establish the connection. And there we go. We are now transferring files with ease. So this is also something that we can use.
And of course, once it is done, you should be able to find everything that you have transferred on your new device on your Poco F7. Of course, you might see ads in the meantime because, well, uh, the app is free, but it contains ads. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.